Greetings, dear friends. I am Isis, and we are going to do some healing of the feminine light. So just allowing the goddess to emerge and become one with you more fully. For so long now you have kept your goddess captive. You have kept her silent. And this can be also, I must tell you, for male and female entities. Dear ones, so just remember and feel you have kept your goddess in a dungeon at the very bottom level of your heart and of your soul afraid to let her out. She has power so alive you are afraid you cannot tame it into submission for her hair is long and wiry and flies with the wind her breasts run deep with passion and longings she is not afraid of what runs in her veins what runs in her thoughts your goddess or what pulses through her thighs she is one who embraces and straddles power as if she is the horse and the rider and the earth herself. She melds with all life. She with her ups upon all life. She now tells me again, you tell me again why you are so afraid to let your goddess out. Are you fearful of her power that she has, her magic she possesses? I ask you to stand fully in your goddess, in your divine feminine and in your womanless. See yourself wearing all the costumes of fate that you have worn through the time, all throughout time. Some of you have worn veils over your face. Others have sequestered and cloistered away every inch of their flesh. Others have shown fully every curve of their being, while others have just laid in the meadows and let the grass and flowers embrace you, allowing nature to touch you when no man of earth could. Notice the jewellery you are attracted to. They are similar to the goddess you admire. It is time to let out your she to straddle the possibilities of the wild stallion of your personal future. Riding it powerfully, gripping it with both your flesh as you dig in your heels into what it is to come. Holding on to the mane of something so powerful that you feel that you could lose yourself at any given moment. This is the passion that you must ride in the upcoming year, in the upcoming heartbeats, riding fully in all of your being, exposing yourself in ways you thought you never could, showing others your passions, your needs, your wants, and your raw power. You are all such beautiful beings, all different shapes and sizes 
and colours and personalities. Throw yourself into the pool of creation and blend with earth. Enjoy the fullness of your body or the slenderness of your body. For God touches and kisses every ounce of flesh that you are. Do not be ashamed if you're a little, too little or too large, but know that the Goddess lives in every ounce of flesh that you wear. Wear her with your head held high as a queen that is drawn by carriage of six white horses created from truth instead of mice and a pumpkin. Do not be afraid that the clock will strike twelve and you will lose yourself again, for that day will never come. You are empowered, you are beautiful, you are gentle, and you are loved beyond your knowing. See yourself being this way now, for this is truly who you are. The Goddess is created because we all need to find our passion again. What runs dry in our veins is daily duties and obligations to others that do not appreciate how much love we put into everything we make, bake and say. We look for something or someone outside of our soul to fill us, but that spring does not will. We sit patiently beside ourselves, waiting to be seen, heard and fully loved for who we are and who we are not. The days pass into decades as we solidify the lady in waiting role and we continue to play. We choose not to honour was is beautiful and powerful and healing inside of our souls and we wait for others to validate our parking ticket as we sit in the waiting room of life. The true love that is sought by a woman can only be seen within the deepest abyss of herself. Then and only then will the world mirror that in a manifestation of a sacred power. The key that unlocks that portal is not time or date or season. The key that is sought is the alchemical, alch alchemical biological experience of loving self. First and only then will outer love follow. Goddesses you have chosen, a favourite that you resonate with. Take one full minute close your eyes and hum softly to yourself allowing a portal to open and see your own true goddess emerge and embrace each other finally feeling not only at one with your goddess within but also with your goddess Isis. Yes, who you have loved, feeling loved beyond any words can say, so empowered and so blissful. Yes, one whole minute. Dear ones, as I send love, peace, 
healing to you right now in this minute. At last, happy to have your feminine light healed and at one with your goddess. I am Isis and I am so grateful and blessed for this day. I send my love to all. Namaste. Thank you for being here today for this healing.